Okay, so it's time to start on the next level. And we've got source code. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know this at all. Uh, I, I have touched, touched C barely, but I don't recognize any of this except system and main and the arguments, the two first arguments. So this is going to be really interesting. Uh, the login has level zero one and the password is level zero one. Right in home f for this files for this level can be found in home flag one. Flags for one. So let's see what happens when we execute this program. And now what? <laughs> yeah, now what? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know this. Uh, I don't know these things. Um, I'm going to build the end pro below program that allows arbitrary programs to be executed. I know functions like well, things like L trace, but I don't think this will have much. So, I guess we should check what this function does. This is get e gid. Returns the effective group ID of the calling process. What the hell is effective group ID? Uh, real and effective ID. Okay, let's see if we can find anything about tampering with these IDs.
let's just see. Had to try it. allows arbitrary programs to be executed hmm Okay, so let's. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now. Uh, especially when it comes to reading assembly and this using GDB. Oh, no. S why? What? Hmm. Char NVP. Char NVP. What is that? None of these are used. Uh. Okay. Google C. Main char NVP. Environmental variables. Is this could access NVP sign out no sign out I could access NVP by doing a pointer traversal over arg overflowing it but I don't think um to get an environment variable in a C program, one could use the following get an external char environment. Other than the above mentioned, does using char MVP as third argument main to get the environment variables considered part of the standard? Function get env is the only one specified by the C standard. POSIX specific. An alternative method for accessing the environment list to declare third argument to the main function. This argument can then be treated in the same way as environment. With a difference that its scope is local to main. That's cool. 
Um, although this feature is widely implemented in Unix system, its use should be avoided since in addition to the scope limitation, it is not specified in SUS version 3. Hmm. So yeah, that's a good question. Now what? Oh wait, user bin env. And then embark. What what that what is user bin env? User bin env. Oh echo. User bin env. Okay, so let's try this. User oh user bin env echo and now what so maybe pvd home flag zero Okay, so I ha I think it has something to do with the environment, uh, environment, uh, environmental variables. Okay, so let's Google what exactly this file is. User bin env. Is it better to? Why do people like and Python on the first line? What if I change shell into something else? Because I have a feeling in a sage echo and now what? Oh, execute, wait. Bin echo cannot execute binary. Okay, so that obviously didn't work. Let's just try it. Shell equals bin cat. Let's just see what happens here. Bin cat. 
So let's try and execute this again. Flags for one. And now what? Yeah, good question. Now what? Again. Uh, the path. Uh, Exterm bin cat. I'll set that back to bin sh just to get back to normal. Mail HL VL one log name log name. Try and set equals bin cat. Now what? to have a user what if I change uh, user equals flag zero one oh this is I'm just going to try something. It's probably not going to work, but it's worth a shot. Can I? Oops. arbitrary programs to be executed can you find it no I can't find it I think that's 
pretty damn obvious that I can't. Let's see what level one change user back to level one. Let log name no, it wants me to execute. arbitrary programs meaning I should be able to execute oh 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 um, no I probably can't do that user bin and it's root. <laughs> Let's just try it. Let's try being Fitness Age. User bin uh, file exists. has to be something it, if this <laughs> I'm just going to try and move it <laughs> probably can't but User bin and one ah. So Try it.
Huh. Is interesting. program in a modified environment set each name to value in environment and run command inside how version Bash code injection vulnerability via specially crafted environment. Is this Yeah, this is something entirely different. This is shell shock. Yep. Must be. Yep. That's shell shock. So, <clears throat> and as far as I know, this was created a long time before the shell shock. Yeah, can't be this. Um, what if Echo is something different then? Which e Echo? That's Bin Echo, so... for change the path make their use user peer user bin user bin okay so let's do that in temp make their Bin. Something completely different. Um,
go. Gives you a try. User bin echo no bin echo as n then I set path equals temp user no temp Yeah, so it can work. And it's not semi, it's colon. There we go. Command env is available in slash user bin env command could not be located because user bin did I mess up everything here now? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny path equals temp flag to one and now what so I was fail maybe I need to change this that nope wait I guess I could just go and read a walkthrough, but that wouldn't look too good on camera. Maybe I should just pause the recording. <laughs> no, nah. that would be stupid. You don't learn anything from that. Oh, everybody's probably sick and tired of watching this now. I bet a lot of people are ripping their head hair out, just screaming, You're so stupid! It hurts my eyes! 
that's perfect to find. Specially crafted hacker's hut environmental variables. I think it has something, it has to be something with a set rescue ID and G, GID. Let's figure out what these functions actually are. C manual set res ID, set real. An effective and saved user or group ID. Sets the real user ID, the effective user ID, and the saved set user ID for of the calling process. I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's try and copy this flag. This flag file. Uh, let's see, copy on flag zero zero one. Flag zero one. And now what? <laughs> oh God. I know there's an S trace as well. I have no clue what what it does actually. Man, S trace. Let's just figure out what that does. Trace system calls. Okay, and then man, L trace. Library call tracer. Yeah, that's cool. So L trace flag flock. What? What the hell is flock? I'll trace flags for one. So it's it still sets this get G get EG ID effective effective group ID effective user ID and then set real effective and saved group ID and user ID. I don't have a clue. And then the system, of course, executes whatever system command. But it wants. Execute arbitrary programs. That system call. Okay, let's just and echo. Huh. <sighs> CD home. Is it really? No, it can't be. It can't be shell shock. Let's find uh, shell shock software bug. Shell shock live two. Vulnerability tester. So, and wait, 
what? Why is it not doing anything now? Where is my environment? <laughs> um, user bin and oh, there it is. Maybe I should change the path. Equals. Oh, nice. Okay, so that was quite interesting. But since it's using the absolute path, it's not going to work. I think. value equals <laughs> I've been recording for almost an hour now. Um, and I haven't gotten a single step closer. Does it even care about any arguments at all? I don't think so. I think it's just there. Yeah, it doesn't care at all. So if I check my ID, UID 102. Two one hundred and two. It says zero.
sure it has something to do with this part. I, I am sure it has something to do with that part right there. Well. I'm sure, but I'm not sure. Because if you can change the user bin and part of it, mm, if you had like a sim link or something, it could be Oh, and Poplar. Let's see what I have in temp here. Okay, so N echo three bar. So Wait. Okay, so N executes the program echo. Which then echoes out whatever I put behind it. So if I do something like um S bin cat into echo and then I add path equals temp colon not semicolon <laughs> like this then I Type so ls lsi. Then I type echo test test no such okay. So if I type um, echo test. Try uh, 
Oh. Echo is now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. So if I on the echo, remove it, and then simlink shell to echo, and then. Bit eager here now. Echo and um, where am I? Ah, uh, come on. Do I have to be in the directory? Maybe. This home flag zero one. Yeah, now it does that part again. And no, no wait, ec echo and no such. Wait, what? Go test. Go test. Been test been. Okay, so so then echo in SH and it needs to be executable plus X echo home flag zero flag. Oh, I got it. Ha, awesome. I got a shell. <laughs> Let's see if I'm yelling out too soon here. No, I'm flag one, flag zero one. So, should I try get flag now? Yes. You have successfully executed git flag on a target account. Awesome. Well, that only took an hour to figure out. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. I'll see you on the next one then.